morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Shockwave, and today I just want to make a quick video on how to actually communicate in Splatoon. So obviously, when you're with your team, uh, you're doing a practice, a league, whatever, how to effectively communicate and tell them what's happening and how to get the best message across to your teammates. So I'm going to be going over that. Obviously, again, if you have any questions, um, I've got a Discord server, link in the description below or tune into my twitch every tuesday and thursday and every time on the weekends when i have the tournament whatever and just let me know of any future video ideas you guys might have or any questions you might have for this video um so yeah let's just get straight into it so basically to start off with you just have the basic call outs of the positions of your opposition team so letting your teammates know where the opposition is, um, the key things might just be where the frontliners are, I would suggest calling them out the most. For a backline, it's kind of not that crucial because they set up in the more common positions, normally they're in the backline, so it doesn't really matter too much unless they're really pushed up, because obviously if you have a charger, most of the time they're going to be sitting on snipe. So that's not really going to be a helpful call out to your team, it's kind of just a waste of two, three seconds that you're calling out that person, you're better off calling out a flank from the opposition frontline weapon. So just something to keep in mind, uh, I'll have a link to some call out guides um, in the description for every map in the game made by I think FLC. So I'll make sure to put that in the description below so you guys have a rough idea of what everything is called on every map. The next level of calling out is calling out what the score is. Now, obviously not calling out like, oh, we're at 50, oh, they're down to 49, like constantly. It's more if uh, there's, I want to use the example of tower control, if there's a checkpoint saying that they're at this checkpoint or setting up set up for the next checkpoint kind of thing if they just got past one or we need to stop them at this certain point so obviously again on certain maps there are points that are considered a safe lead on a certain mode again i'll use the example from one of my previous videos walleye on rainmaker if you get 11 uh, on that that's considered somewhat a safe lead um, so you know what to push towards or what to defend the next thing is going to be specials. You can obviously see this at the top of your screen. It'll light up a rainbowy color. So basically, knowing what specials the oppositions have, if they have, I don't know, double ink jet with armor or something like that. So calling out if they have a special ready and if you can, what special they do have ready. Yeah, I got Squiffed. Um, Squiff has armor. They have splash down. They wasted armor. This can also apply to yourself and your teams, so obviously reminding your teammates that they actually have a special ready because they might not even realize, or if they do realize, calling out how close you are to your own special so you can combine them and create a really good push moving forward. So just say you want to combine an armor, missiles and inkjet at the same time, this can really create a lot of pressure on the opposition and create a lot of kills for your team to be able to make a push of some sort so just calling out these things because your teammates might not even be aware that they have a special or that yourself might be close to or have a special as well i can bomb it yeah bomb Ooh, rush. i can probably like inkjet they armored so obviously keeping that in mind always looking at the top of the screens comes into all your awareness this all ties into just looking at the map looking at your teammates looking at the opposition as well so obviously keeping all this in mind Alright, so the next level above all this, this kind of makes another jump, is trying to call out what you're thinking, what kind of plays you might make, or like your current actions. So I'll give an example of when you're trying to defend and they're at a certain checkpoint, you might see someone trying to make a flank or they're kind of just by themselves and there's kind of two of you waiting on a ledge, for example, and you kind of call out, I'm going to drop in this guy, he's alone, this is a free kill. Um, so that should instantly, hopefully, your teammate notices that call out, and then you both jump on him, get that free kill, because it's a 2v1, and then you obviously just come in to swarm the tower. Just being aware of where the opposition is, if there's someone alone or trying to push too far into your base, you call them out, you collapse on them, and then you go forward with the objective as it should be a 4v3 or a 3v2, something like that. Something in your favour it should be, unless he's managed to, I don't know, win a 1v2 
need to in his situation. He's in the mid, he's in the mid, he's dead. Oh, you wanna push him? There's two here. Yeah, I can push him, I can push him. Rushing him. Dead. One's down, one down. Junior mid here, junior mid. Ah, he's beating mid. He's on left side, junior left side. On you, shock on you. I jumped out. Alright, I'm gonna dive on him. I wanna get the kills. Good stuff, go on. He's weak, he's weak. Child. Jumping on the charger. Got, got Mini back up to Royal. Swift's there, zone. Yeah. he's weak, he's weak, he's weak. Nice. Tetris, 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 One jump, jump. Him. Behind us. Dead, dead, dead. Is behind us. Got him? Alright, just keep zone, keep zone. Nice, nice. Jump, uh, push this, push oh, him, push this. Bump him, bump him. Got one. Jump's nice. Yeah, yeah, go, There's go, go, go. There. Got one. Push him, push him, push him, push him. Got another? Nice work, nice work. Oh, pretty, pretty charger. Good. Again, keeping that in mind, making sure you're aware of where everyone is, and not being afraid to make that call, even if it didn't work out, knowing that you made the right call and you just need to execute better next time. So just say this actually happened in a game and it didn't work out, You get, that guy ended up getting two kills and there was only one of him, it's fine, it's whatever, you move on, you try it again next time and 80 to 90% of the time you should be getting that kill. Alright, so the last one, I reckon the most advanced one, is noticing common trends. So where a front line might flank all the time, or just where the opposition is commonly pushing. Like, even if it's just all of them, where they're always coming from. So sometimes in a game you'll notice, okay, they're always pushing from the left side of the map. So when you're holding the objective, or you're pushing up, you focus the left side and you don't focus the right side as much. So you can kind of hold them back a little bit more, I want to say. You're able to focus all in that area instead of having, I don't know, two go that way and two go the other way. Because if, if there's obviously three or four going one way from them, and then there's only two of you pushing that area, you obviously get swarmed, you get to die, and then the push is going to end. So if you try and identify this like halfway through the game, where all the players are pushing, because obviously people are going to have their favorite spots of where they want to push from the left, from the right, just come straight through mid, they want to flank. So trying to remember where everyone's going. This is mainly for front lines. Again, a charger will, or a back line would normally come from the same, maybe like two positions all the time, and it's really common. So for versing front line or mid line weapons, if they want, like to flank a lot, knowing that and calling that out to your teammates as well, so they can also focus that. Yeah, so that's pretty much five things, uh, how to actually communicate, how to communicate effectively to your teammates when you're in, I don't know, a competitive tournament, just a league, or when you're just playing casually with them, how to, if you want to play somewhat seriously, how to tell them what's going on, what you're doing, um, and everything like that. So thank you again, obviously everyone who made it this far in the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I've got a Discord server, again, link in the description below. Uh, and I stream every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, Australian Eastern Daylight Time at 8 o'clock. And then every so often on the weekends, we have a tournament whatnot. Um, so yeah, make sure to tune into that if you have any questions or just want to hang out. So yeah, thank you guys again. And I uh, hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening. And I'll catch you all in the next video.